welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is passion and I wanted to show you guys some new fragrances that I picked up I decided that I was going to do a fragrance series here on my channel and in this fragrance series I'm going to talk about some of my favorite perfumes some of my expensive perfumes some of my more affordable perfumes as well as new scents that I pick up I absolutely love perfume I love perfume, I love body sprays, I love body mist, I love all of it. So I'm always picking up some kind of perfume. Doesn't matter where I am, if I'm in Ross, if I'm in Target, if I'm in TJ Maxx, I'm picking up something. And so I have two new fragrances that I picked up. I have one travel spray, one new rollerball, as well as a sample that I got sent in the mail that I wanted to speak with you guys about today. So be sure to like comment and subscribe make sure you turn on that bell notification so you never miss an upload and let's get started so the first fragrance that i want to talk about today is the dolce and gabbana the only one intense so i just got this perfume today i ordered it a while ago and it just finally arrived today and it smells so good y'all this perfume smells like money it smells expensive it smells very luxurious but at the same time it smells very warm um it smells on me it smells very warm on my body chemistry i get more of the vanilla notes i get a lot of the warm notes i get the cashmere um and it is a floral scent but it's like a warm deep floral so it's not as light and spring floral but it's definitely a more nighttime floral scent in my opinion i would for sure wear this at night i would for sure wear this if i'm hanging out with my friends if i'm going to dinner um i would not wear this during the day it's just a little bit in my opinion a little bit heavy to wear during the day so y'all in my opinion i really feel like dolce and gabbana has the best fragrances they smell expensive they last all day on me they do on my body chemistry they last all day they smell very mature and adult but they don't smell elderly if that makes sense so i really really like this one i think this is my new favorite i'm gonna be wearing this one all the time so the next fragrance that i got is the burberry brit sheer fragrance and this is how the bottle looks. I think this is so beautiful. This is a very beautiful bottle. My friend got this for me for Christmas. So first let me say, up until this point, I have not been a fan of any of the Burberry fragrances. <laughs> I haven't found a Burberry fragrance that smells good on me. I haven't found a Burberry fragrance that when I smell, I like. So I have not found one yet that I am absolutely in love with, but this one, I will say that this one does smell good and I looked this fragrance up to see what the notes were and I believe it has some fruit as well as some musk notes to it but y'all I get straight floral I don't get any of those notes when I spray this on my body I believe the floral is peony and to me it's very overpowering and I know that this is the sheer version of the Burberry Brit I would not want to smell the version that's not sheer i feel like as a sheer fragrance this is strong it's very bold in my opinion i do like it i definitely will wear it it is a daytime scent i don't think that it is bold enough strong enough to be worn at night but i would most certainly wear this during the day i think that this is a really good summer scent a very good spring scent it does smell very fresh it smells clean and it smells very floral florally I don't know if that's a word, but I'm, I, it's gonna be a word today. It smells very much like flowers. So the next scent that I got is the Prada Candy. And I believe it's pronounced Florale. Florale? Floral is what I'm going to call it. This is an eau de toilette, so it is not as intense as the rest of these. So the difference between eau de toilette and an eau de parfum an eau de parfum has a lot more oils in it a lot more fragrance oils it's a lot more concentrated than the eau de toilette i've only worn this once and it did not last on my skin at all but it does smell really really good it smells very floral um i looked up the notes on this and it is packed with florals as well as i think some caramel and musk i don't get any of the caramel and musk when i smell this 
and when I put this on my skin and it dries down I get all of the florals as well as like a, a pinch of citrus I get a little bit of citrus too I like it I think that this for sure is a daytime scent it smells expensive um, it smells luxurious if I'm just gonna be honest with you it smells really really good and I know that it's the Prada candy and I know that that fragrance is um, targeted more towards younger women and younger girls but I think this one smells very mature in my opinion and I do think that a young woman um, maybe 25 and up would wear this I don't really think anyone younger than 25 would be wearing this fragrance Another fragrance that I picked up is the Nanette Lepore Colors of Nanette and this is in a travel spray. Cute little travel spray bottle. You guys, this fragrance smells so good. Like, I just sprayed it on my hand just now because I wanted to smell it again. It smells really, really good. It smells fruity. So this is more fruity floral where the Prada is more, in my opinion, floral the burberry um brit sheer in my opinion on my body chemistry it's floral the nanette lapore colors of nanette i get a lot of the fruit as well it smells mature but it smells very sweet at the same time so i do think that younger women could wear this perfume um i don't see like teenagers wearing it but i do see young adults women in their 20s early 30s wearing it it smells really really good and you know my mom is a, a, a winter chicken she's not a spring chicken anymore she's a, a winter chicken um but I do think that this would be a fragrance that she would like because my mom so my mom absolutely loves perfumes and fragrances as well and I'm pretty sure that's where I got it from like me and all my siblings that's the one thing that we have in common we all love perfume and we all love fragrances and I could definitely see my mom wearing this one and you know, I just might give it to her. I like it as well, but I, when I smell this, I think about my mom. And I'm not saying that to say that this fragrance smells seasoned, but I'm saying that it, I don't know, it smells like my mom's natural body chemistry. Out of all the ones that I've shown you guys so far, this is the most affordable one. I picked up this little um, travel spray from Walmart. I want to say it was like $10 or it was very very affordable um and i do think that you could find the 3.4 ounce of this eau de parfum from walmart and it's like 20 bucks so this is a very very affordable fragrance it's way more affordable than the other three fragrances that i've spoken about so far so if you are in walmart and you see this definitely pick it up i think you i think you would really really like it and the last fragrance that i wanted to show you guys is the ysl libre so i got a sample of this in the mail so it came in one of these and this will definitely be my next purchase i will for sure be buying a large bottle of this because it smells absolutely amazing it is very very warm very musky but it does have notes of florals in it as well i can smell some florals um i do feel like i smell some maybe lavender it might be lavender in it as well but on my body chemistry the main note that i get is that warm musk it smells so expensive it smells so luxurious it smells like a boss this smells like a boss woman if you are wearing this you are going to get the attention of others people will be asking you what are you wearing i did as you can see it's a very small sample so i wore it once and everyone was asking me what i was wearing everyone wanted to know what my scent of the day was and i was telling them you know it's the ysl libre and everyone was like it smells so good like they really really liked it i really really like it i will be buying this um and i looked it up to see like how many versions of this they have and they have the ysl libre which is what i have in the sample and then they have the ysl libre intense i like the more intense fragrances so i probably will be buying this in intense because i want it to last all day if i spray this on in the morning I want to smell it on me until I'm taking a shower at night. I want to smell it all day. So I will probably be picking up the intense version of it. And I'll show you guys when I get it. But 
out of all of them that I have shown you today, I do think that the YSL Libre is my favorite. Next would be the Dolce & Gabbana, the only one in tints. Then the Nanette Lepore, Colors of Nanette. Next would be the Prada Candy, Floral. And then the Burberry Brit Sheer would be the order in which I rank them. I like all of them. I'm glad that I have um, some new fragrances to add to my collection. I absolutely love perfume. Perfume is very important to me and it's very, like I have a sentimental relationship with perfume. Um, I really like it. It's just, I grew up watching my mom spraying all her body spray, spraying all her perfume, and it's just a part of who I am. Like I have always, always had a love for body sprays, body mist, perfumes, um, body oils, body lotions. That's just, it's just part of my DNA at this point. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, comment down below and let me know what fragrances I should check out. Um, a lot of you guys made some recommendations on my other fragrance video, and I will be getting some of those fragrances, but let me know some other fragrances that you think I will like. I have absolutely no problem going and buying them, or at least getting a sample of them so I can see what they smell like, how they work on my body chemistry, because that's very important, you guys. You have to keep in mind that Every fragrance will smell different on every person because it mixes in with their body chemistry. So how it smells on me may not be how it smells on you. So it's really important to make sure that you guys are smelling these fragrances and seeing if you like them for yourself because they may work very, very well on me and my body chemistry, but they may not work well on yours and vice versa. They may work well on yours, but might not work that well on me. So, you know, I still am taking recommendations though. Let me know what fragrances that I should check out. Uh, which ones do you guys think that I would like? Comment down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.